Hey guys, welcome to my second ever CSGO loadout video. I understand I've been away for quite a while, but I thought I'd repay you by bringing out the orange CSGO loadout. This video is going to be a little bit different from my green CSGO loadout video. I'm going to be showing you one gun and its price, and then also showing you, in my opinion, the best orange skin for each weapon. I will also let you know if there are other orange guns available. At the end of the video, I'll reveal what color I'm going to do next, as well as all the prices of all the skins in this video. And with all that being said, let's start looking at the skins. For our first gun, the Glock, I've gone with the Weasel. It's got a pretty nice pattern for a cheap skin. And um, for our better option, I've gone for the Core Breach, I think it's called. No, it's not. It's called the Reactor. Um, Yeah, so I've got the Reactor as a better gun. For the USP, there's no cheap orange skins, so I've gone for the Lead Conduit, because it's quite nice and it's got brownish, which is pretty close. For the more expensive gun, I've gone for the Orion. And there is other options which aren't quite orange that you can look at if you want. Now onto the P2000 where unfortunately once again there's not any orange cheap guns so we've gone for the Imperial in minimal wear condition this time. Um, yeah, it's clearly red and yellow but that's alright. For the better gun we've gone for the Imperial Dragon which is a pretty nice skin and there are other options as well so look at those. As for the P250 we've gone for the Inferno, it's a pretty nice skin overall. And then for the better one we've got the Asimov which I think is going to be a pretty common theme for the better options. It's just a very nice skin overall once again. So yeah. As for the Tech 9, I've gone for the Red Quartz. Uh, it's clearly orange, so I don't really know how they call it the Red Quartz, but that's its name. Um, for the better gun, I've gone for the Toxic, which isn't even that much more expensive, so if you want that, then feel free. For the 5.7, I've gone for the Orange Peel, which overall isn't a very nice skin, but there's not really any other orange guns at all. And apart from the Nitro, which is also orange, is that better gun? Um, the Nitro is also going to be a pretty common theme, unfortunately, considering it's not exactly an awesome gun, in my opinion. Um, there are other guns with orange on them for the 5.7 though, so you can look at those as well. As for the CZ, we've got what is, in my opinion, the best gun in the whole list. We've got the Tigris. It's just a very, very, very hot skin in my opinion. Um, for the other gun, we've got, once again, the Nitro like I mentioned before. Um, yeah, not really much said. For the Dual Berettas, there is literally only one option, and if you're looking at them right now, it's the Demolition. It's pretty much as orange as it gets as far as skins goes, so yeah, very nice! For the R8, once again, we've got a Nitro. It's honestly, the Nitro doesn't actually look too bad on the revolver, I think, but no one really uses the revolver, so it's alright, I guess. Um, for the better option, we've got the Survivalist, which could be argued that it's yellow, although I'm saying it's orange, so there you go. For the Desert Eagle, we've gone for the Light Rail. There are other options that are cheaper, but they're not exactly orange, so we've gone for the one that actually has orange, even if it's not much. Um, we've also got the Blaze as the better option, so... Yeah, both pretty much look the exact same, except one's cheaper. For our first rifle, we've got the AK-47 Elite build. One of the most like well-known guns, considering it's a pretty low tier one, to be honest. Uh, it's got nice orange accents here and there. Uh, for the better option, I've gone for the Asimov once again. I'm probably, as I mentioned earlier, I'm probably going to go for the Asimov in most of the better options. Um, there are certainly other options as well, other than the Asimov and the Elite build. Um, yeah. For the two orgs, I've gone for the Amber Slipstream, mainly because of its mag and the sort of lower half of the gun. And then for the better one, I've gone for the Bengal Tiger. There are other options, both cheap and expensive though, so yeah, have a look at those if you want them. As for the M4A4, once again, unfortunately, there's no orange gun, so I've gone pretty much the next best thing, which is red. Um, yeah, not really much to be said about the converter itself. Um, apart from that, we've got the Asimov, which is obviously, once again, very nice. I'll keep saying it, sorry. Um, yeah, I think there might be another option, I can't really remember, but yeah, these are the, definitely the two that I've chosen, yeah. As for the M4A4's best cousin, I've gone for the M4A1S, once again, Nitro's making its return, it's not, not really that bad, I guess, um, yeah, alright. As for the better one, I've gone for the Atomic Alloy, which is sort of just, if you just hit upgrade on the Nitro, I guess, um, there are other options, although... The Atomic Alloy and the Nitro, uh, Nitro, not the Nitro, the Atomic Alloy and the Nitro are definitely alright. For the SG, I've gone for the Danger Close. It's honestly a very nice skin, considering it's just a blue. Um, not really much more to say about it apart from that though, so for the better one, we've got the Tiger Moth, which is, it's another, it's also pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's it. For the FAMAS, I've gone for the Survivor Z, which... Like some of the guns, could be argued that it's red, although I'm saying that it's orange, like on the tape parts mainly. But yeah, I, I don't really know. It's up to you to decide. Um, for the better one, we've got the Valance, which is 
which is one of the more cleaner guns in the list. And apart from that, Bamas is, Bamas is here. That's cool. As for the Crimson Tsunami, there is an orange one, but it's the orange Day Day Pat, which is in an old collection, so it's very expensive. So I've just gone for the Crimson Tsunami, which I know is an orange, but there's no cheap orange ones. So yeah, this is what we got. Although I must say there are other options, so like other ones that have red, although I've just highlighted this one because I quite like it. Moving on to the Scout, I've gone for the Slashed. It's honestly, it's a pretty nice skin. I didn't actually see it that you're going to use that much that I've noticed in games. Um. Yeah, pretty nice overall. We've got the better option as the Dragonfire, which is possibly the best scout in the game, I'd go as far as to say. Definitely debatable as most things are in Counter-Strike. But yeah, very nice. As for the G3 SG1, I've gone for the Orange Crash, which is I'm pretty sure our equal cheapest gun. Not so far, but there will be one that matches in the future. Um, The better option, I've gone for the Executioner, which, I mean... It's pretty nice. It's the highest or equal highest rarity G3, so yeah, can't complain, I guess. Moving on to the SCAR 20, once again, the only orange gun is quite expensive, being the Cardiac, which is also quite blue as well, so I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but obviously the Crimson Web, which is red, isn't exactly perfect either, although it is very nice. So yeah, that's all we got for these two. Now to the Boomstick, the AWP. Um, we've gone for the Paw. There's obviously orange cats on it. But yeah, it was pretty much as close as I could get to anything orange that's cheap. Um, for the better options, I've highlighted the Wildfire, which, I mean, I just think it's one of the nicest AWP skins in the whole game. Although there are clearly other options, like very nice options. So if you're a bit of a baller, there are definitely other options for you. For our first SMG, the MAC-10, I've gone for the Heat, which could be argued as yellow, but there's definitely orange in there somewhere, mainly, uh, yeah, it's a bit near the handle-ish area. Um, yeah, I just think this is a very nice skin, to be honest. For our other option, I've got the Last Dive, which I was highlighted in my green video, if you saw that. Um, yeah, the Last Dive is actually cheaper, I think, but I just love the Heat that much, so here it is. As for the MP5, I've gone for the Gauze, or the Gauss. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but being the newest gun, there's not exactly that many skins of it yet, so this is the only one that has any remote colour of orange, so yeah, they're all right. As for the MP7, we've got probably, in my opinion, our worst orange gun. Know how I said orange? Um, Yeah, it's not exactly anything special about this gun, to be honest, the Urban Hazard. For the better one, we've gone for the full stop, which... I mean, once again, there's nothing really that special about it, in my opinion. They just comes with a bit of orange on them. As for the MP9, we've got a Modest Threat, which is, I think, equal cheapest, if I don't, I'm not mistaken. Um, It's definitely much nicer looking than the other ones, though, which I must admit. Um, For the better options, or the better options in quotation marks, I guess I should be saying most times, we've got the Setting Sun, which isn't that much more expensive, but... For the price and the nice look on the modest threat, I've decided to highlight this. There are other options as well for the MP9, so yeah, it's a pretty good gun for orange. As for the PP buys, and there's only one option, and once again, you're looking at it. It's the antique. Uh, it could even be argued that this is an orange and it's brown, which, uh, looking at it now, it most definitely is brown, but brown's pretty close to orange, so you take what you can get sometimes. As for the P90, we've got near complete contrast to the PP Bison, where there's only one skin. We've got this chopper to highlight, which is a very nice orange gun, pretty clean. And then we've got the Asimov as the better gun. And then apart from that, there are quite a few options with orange on them. So if you're interested or very interested in orange, I'd suggest looking into them. Unfortunately for the UMP, there's no orange guns once again. So I've decided to go for a minimal wear Moonrise, which I mean, has a tiny bit of orange near the moon, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a very nice skin nonetheless, so here it is for you. Moving on to the heavy weapons for the Mag-7, we've got the Heat once again, matching the Mac 10 uh, Yeah, as I mentioned before, it's just a very nice skin in my opinion. Um, for the other option, we've got the Core Breach, which is sort of similar to some of the other guns we've got highlighted so far as the better guns. Yeah, pretty average, I guess. As for the Nova, I've gone for the Coin Minimal Wear. It's a very nice skin, and Minimal Wear doesn't even save it, really, unfortunately. There's still quite a lot of scratches near the divots in the gun. But apart from that, as our better gun, we've got the Baroque Orange, which, oh, Jesus, it's just, it's a very nice pattern skin, to be honest. For our last pump action shotgun, the Sword Off, I've gone for the Origami. It's, it's clearly got orange in it, although, looking at now, the more main focal point of the gun is, is yellow. 
Um, apart from this, we've got the Kraken as our better gun, and there are other options as well. So, yeah, there we go. For the no skill, oh, uh, sorry, I mean the XM, um, we've gone for the Tech Loo Burner. It's really nice. It's got very nice flame patterns. Uh, for the better gun, I've gone for the Incinegator, which is honestly pretty similar, except for it's got an alligator on it. Yeah. For the M249, there's once again no orange guns, so we've gone for one with yellow instead. Ooh, we've got the Spectre. Yeah, nothing special about it. Let me move. Now for the Negev, I've gone for the Lionfish. I am looking to field tested one, which is what I recommend, but I was saying that I also reckon you should get a minimal wear one if you can, if you want it. Yeah, the, this one's a bit scratched pretty much everywhere, so. Yeah, um, apart from that, we've got the Mojner as our better gun, which is, well, it's a bit expensive, really. Just above the $500 price range as I'm recording this. So, yeah, very nice to round off the guns. So, as you can see, we've spent pretty much 39 Australian dollars overall here. So, you know, it's a bit more expensive than the green sales got laid out, but there are also a lot less options for the orange ones. So, I feel like we've done all right. As for the next colour I'm going to do, we'll most likely be doing blue, as that was the next comment I received after orange on the green video. If this helped you or you liked it, feel free to like the video and comment what colour you would like to see me do after blue. Um, if you see someone that's already commented the colour you would like, please just like their comment just to save a bit of confusion. And apart from that, thank you everyone for watching.